Anjali has a lot to smile about. She's the youngest person ever to be selected for the Black Ferns. The journey um, to making it to Black Ferns was, wasn't that difficult because of my passion for rugby, because I enjoyed it. But a challenge that I did face was my grandfather. He didn't want me, his oldest granddaughter, to play rugby because how in Samoan tradition girls should stick to like netball, guys should stick to rugby. But um, that just pushed me even more. Anjali's proudly Samoan, but to make her dreams come true, she's had to break cultural traditions. You have all these little people on the sidelines that say, she can't do this because she's Samoan or she's a girl, or she can't play rugby. I just want to prove everyone wrong, like, who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? My culture is real important to me. Um, it defines who I am on and off the field. Once we get up in their faces and shut them down, they'll go nowhere. What drives me is my mum and my dad and my parents. Just being able to make them proud. My mum, just um, having her presence there. I can't play without her. She has to be on the sideline. I just have to hear her and see her. As an island parent, I'm very proud of my daughter. But in, this, in saying that, um, you know, you just got to keep it real. Don't forget where you're from and just remember who you are. In the future, I hope to see myself studying at AU and doing something in science. Anjali's a star at school, yet she hasn't let success get to her head. She's just one of the girls. I want to do something in medicine because I like um, chemistry a lot because my grandfather, he's diabetic and being able to help him get better. I just like that feeling of helping people heal. She's proved dedication is the key to success. Anjali's confident she can do anything she puts her mind to.